you guys liked that first clip of Kels there. Um, it's a bit of a funny story. The best lap of the weekend, we actually had a, a blurry lens on the camera. So that, that wasn't the best lap, but that was the best uh, quality video lap that we got. So we're going to kind of go through now and just show you the first laps of the weekend because everything kind of happened on the first day. So um, you'll see the first lap as I learned the track, the second lap, and then um, basically the next session we put new tires on and that was the best of the weekend. And after that we had um, hybrid issues and, and whatnot. So um, you'll be able to just see kind of the progression uh, through the car and, and the driving. And um, yeah, I mean it was a really awesome weekend. It all happened fast with the Z. We kind of had to do it on that first, first day. We had a fog delay so that meant everything was basically in two sessions. And um, the whole weekend was really, really cool. And Jess was there with the Model 3. We had a bunch of Model 3 um, cars running together in the Model 3 Challenge. Um, yeah, I mean, it, yes. was, it was like that track that we all played as a kid. It's just like a video game. Yeah. It's the exact same. Yeah. Um, you can see in his videos, finding time on this track is basically just uh, being crazier. Yeah, just <laughs> a little bit more. Yeah, and the harder you push it, you just keep finding more grip, especially getting over the curbs and uh, like getting really close to the apex. It's, sometimes it's like scooped in, so you can see Sasha just absolutely throwing it into the corner like before the uphill to the corkscrew. Um, but yeah, we got to hang out with a bunch of Model 3 uh, racers, met up with a bunch of our customers and dealers. Um, the weather was perfect. Everything was great. Except for the fog. The fog wasn't great, and uh, it really stressed out. Uh, the organizers, but <laughs> we were so, fine. It all worked out. Yeah, yeah, and we had like the suite above the garage, so we could watch the live stream and hang out. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. Heat actually is what we what we actually needed, not air conditioning. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really great. Yeah, so enjoy these these next few laps, and be sure to check out uh, the Mountain Pass page for more about the Model Three Challenge uh, and and all the other things we're working on, new parts for the Teslas and stuff. This video is kind of more around the Z, but we'll have another video coming soon that just highlights that Model 3 Challenge and the Tesla stuff that we accomplished at Laguna and throughout the season as well. So thanks, uh, thanks for watching guys. All right, so this is the tire preparation, getting ready for the first exploratory laps of the weekend. Um, trying to make sure the tires are kind of in, they don't have to be perfect, but in enough that they're not gonna do anything crazy. And now we're basically, I'm just trying to understand how similar the track is to the sim. So the goal here isn't to put too much um, heat into the motors and the batteries, so kind of short shifting and not going super fast in the straightaways. Braking early enough that I can just focus on how the mid corner feels and the exits feel. So you can see I kind of just roll through and then try and apply some power and see what the grip is like on the, on the exit. And that's kind of the, the case for most of this, this lap because I'm just kind of seeing what the grip is like and seeing how the balance of the car is considering that we have all new aero and, and um, different tires and spring the whole car has changed same sort of situation here and then corner six the next corner up here is really the tricky one because that's this big compression and it really kicks the car and you can see even on this first exploratory lap how the car gets loose and sideways so the car was bottoming and it was kicking itself sideways. So it's always a good idea to do exploratory laps for that reason. And the corkscrew here, just being really cautious, really conservative, turning in late. Really, I was wide of the curbing on the inside there by a fair bit, but that's better than slamming into the sewer grate that's on the right side there. So at this point, I'm thinking, you know, the car feels pretty good. Everything's stable. Uh, nothing seems different than the sim. So here, uh, and this is kind of the first real lap, I decide to take it uh, to maybe eight out of 10. So a little bit more power, a little bit, the braking is still quite early, but still rolling the speed in and trying to get strong exits um, to try and build some lap time. And it's kind of coming through this corner, starting to come quickly into this one. You feel like, okay, this is starting to be pretty awesome. Like Kels is pretty hooked up. It's going over this curbing really nicely, and the feeling is just. You're trying not to get excited too early, but it's really difficult not to because it just sounds so good, it feels so good. The grip's there, the balance is there. Uh, 
Yeah, and this is on old tires, so I'm, I'm just trying to learn the track, and I'm, I'm getting pretty excited for what's to come. You can see there through six, it was able to carry a lot more speed. The car was still stable. Just have to adjust your driving slightly. Accidentally got first there and better through the corkscrew that time. Trying the shallow line through this corner, it was not great. And then it's at this point where I start to feel like I've got a bit of a heavy brake pedal and, I, and I'm realizing I'm starting to fade the front brake pads. So that's something that uh, we're kind of conscious of for the future and, and knowing that, you know, this track, with how quick Kels is going, the front brakes are, are uh, overheating with the pad compound that we have in there. Just kind of going slowly there with Robin. And we've got another Subaru coming up here that's got something going on. So it was a bit of a busy lap. This corner really building, I can really feel like I'm over slowing on the entry, just trying to carry more in. That, that was really surprising, how quick five was. So already now the laps are starting to be pretty decent. The driving's, you know, 9 out of 10, and the car's just feeling still good. I haven't had any really scary moments that have told me there's a problem with the car, and it's really just matching the simulator almost perfectly. So it was just a pretty incredible feeling to change the car this much, come to a track we've never been to, and to be so comfortable after only three laps. Now is when the party time begins. We've worked really hard to get these new tires in, get the mold release off of them, and we're at full jam now. Uh, maybe one step off of full jam, but pretty much 700 wheel horsepower. You can hear the thing just pulling through the gears, whereas before it could hardly get into fifth gear, now we're almost in the top of fifth. Um, so this is the first time I'm really having to work the brakes hard and um, got all this power to put down, and you can just see with the new tires, it just puts the power down, even with the tires not in all the way. Um, that corner being the exception, there's a bit of a bump there that consistently kicked the car sideways all weekend. But at this point, it's just starting to feel like a, a wild video game. I mean, the car just, like, even there is super overslowed into that corner, you just feel like you can't enter fast enough. Um, corner six still being tentative on the entry, but it, it's just rocketing out of this corner. Uh, coming into the corkscrew, just trying to break fairly late without getting into trouble and diving in. It's the feeling here you can get the full power before the car's even landed, and it just shoots out. Um, here, a shallow line, you can feel it, see it doesn't feel right. It was too, too slow on the entry, um, but this corner here is, is nuts. It was like almost three G's in that compression there. So, got a good feel for it, and now we're going for what will be the best lap of the weekend. Uh, would have been a 21 if I don't, didn't screw up the last corner with the brake fade. So, still braking really early for this corner. Kind of conscious of those front pads starting to let go. And you can see just how well it shoots out of that corner. Here, I kind of turned in a little bit too early and got into trouble here. Spent some time on the beach. Didn't lose too much time, though, surprisingly. Although I did take it more gentle on this corner with the dirty tires. You can see just full power right of the compression, and it just takes it. At this point, the car just feels the tires are perfect and the car is just glued to the ground. I had to push on the brake pedal super hard there. Front pads are fading. 
better through this corner here and I didn't lose so much on the entry and had a good strong exit. And then you'll see in this, I hit the compression so hard my head bounces. I saw I hit the compression there. And then here I just pushed the brakes a bit too hard with those pads and I blew the whole lap. And that was eight tenths of a second gone right there. So that was a 22.6, it should have been a 20, it is a 21.9 if you just move the start finish line. So a bit frustrating, but honestly the best feeling ever driving that car with new tires and full power at Laguna. It was just a dream come true. So, so, so cool. Thanks for everyone that uh, helped make it possible and for all the support over the weekend. It was one of the best, if not the best event we've I've had in my career.